Okay, we are now going to uh, do chapter one. Welcome back. This is a four video uh, full completion of Detective Die the Silk Rose Murders. The last video was the prologue. This is going to be chapter one, as I said. So move over here and we're going to speak to the deer. Okay, when well, we've done that, uh, we need to move to the left, pick up the drumstick. And then once we've done that, we are going to go over to the big drum. We are going to select the drumstick and use it on the... Oh, we need to examine the drum first. Okay, there we go. Right. So we are going to examine the uh, drumstick. Those are the orders of which you need to do things, as you can see. So once you've done that, what you need to do is you need to hit this first once. Then you want to hit this three times. One, two, Three. You then want to hit three o'clock once, then seven and eight o'clock one uh, twice, and then you hit the middle once. I'll do like the little cutscene thing. And we should be able to get out of this. I'm not quite sure. Ah, there we go. It just took a while to load. Once we've done that, we can speak to the deer. So it exhausts the dialogue. The deer will then disappear. We're going to walk towards the tower entrance. And go inside. Which will be uh, automatic. Okay, once he's woken up and got changed, we are going to check the journal, which is this brownish looking book on the table. Okay, so you need to uh, go to the last page Put a new journal entry. Okay, uh, once you've done that, back out from said journal and we're gonna move to the courtyard, which is through the door to your right. So we're going to move over here. Watch the bluebird fly away. And we're going to pick up the hammer that actually looks like a mallet. We'll just assume that's a mistranslation. So we're going to click to the door or click on the door to exit to the map. Okay, once we've done that, we are going to be going to the Imperial Palace by obviously selecting the Imperial Palace and pressing A.
this is actually a very pretty room. Okay, so are these the concubines? Okay, so we're going to go along here. I'll just tell it to speed up with rapidly pressing the A button. Welcome, D. Renji. So uh, go through the dialogues, it doesn't really matter what you say to be honest, it's all a linear story. Oops. Once you have exhausted the dialogue, uh, I believe we will have to uh, leave. So. Uh, once you've swung to her, we're going to speak to Yao Mei, which is this woman in pink and navy. Okay, once you've exhausted the dialogue, we are going to exit to the left and we are going to go to the Justice Department. Ironically, the Justice Department in the modern day China is uh, more like an injustice department. Anywho, uh, we're gonna move to the right and this will take us to the lobby. So we are going to uh, exhaust the dialogue here. Oops, I've accidentally done the wrong the same thing again. So if you want to read all this, you can pause with each frame um, in the uh, video.
So once we've done all this, we can exit the conversation. Okay, so we're going to uh, we need to go over to the evidence box. Take a look. So we've got three things added to the inventory. Uh, once we've got those, we are going to move to the left. To the locker. Okay, now we're in the uh, lockup area. We are going to speak to the uh, person behind the bars, Zoo Dan. You may have to do with that slight cutscene. So we're going to exhaust uh, all of the dialogue. Ooh, wrong button. There we go. So we're going to, as I said, exhaust all the dialogue. And then we're going to back out. So uh, once we've done that, we're going to go back to the original room, the lobby, and then we're going to go all the way to the right, where we should find uh, a door to the morgue. There we go. Well, we won't find a door, but we can exit to the morgue. Okay. So once we've reached the morgue, we're going to speak to uh, Coroner Yao. So we are going to exhaust the dialogue. Again, if you wish to read it, you are free to, but for the purposes of this video and the others in this playlist, we will just be uh, exhausting to save both video time and time for you guys to watch. So once we've done that, we are going to go back to the lobby and then back to the courtyard. Once we're back in the courtyard, we will be going to the map. So back out to the courtyard, da, 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 there we go. And then we're gonna go to the map. I'm not quite sure why we can't use a map from our inventory, but why not? Anywho, once we've done that, we are going to go to the victim's house, which is, uh, A very uh, un uh, prominent building. Okay, so we're going to examine the footprints that are below the windows next to the wooden logs. Uh, then, once we've done that, we're just going to quickly move the side slightly. We're going to take the footprint sketch and we're going to drag it onto the footprints below the window. Oops. 
So we're going to examine the window. We're going to examine the puddle. We are going to examine the uh, alleyway. We are then going to examine the door. No, we're not, because it's not letting us. So what we're going to do, we are going to uh, use the footprint on the sketch again, uh, on the footprints, the footprint sketch on the footprints. There we go. That's what we wanted it to do. Okay, so we now have the first clue of five, uh, the, or the third clue of five. For the our first. Right, we're going to go inside the house at this point. Sorry for that slight delay getting the uh, footprint sketch to register. Obviously, it uh, didn't like us not checking the other part of the house first. <coughs> okay. So we're going to interact with this area of interest. We're going to examine it. And now we're going to try the other thing. Where the murder took place. Examine the blood stain. Uh, blood stains. Examine the tipped chair. Except it's a stool. We got a fragment of the wood. And then we're going to examine the bedside chair. We're going to summarize. We're going to examine this mat. Then what we're going to do is we are going to, if the game lets me actually do it, we're going to examine these marks by the cabinets, uh, the left side of the cabinet. You notice the cabinet seems to be moved slightly. So, once we've done that, we are going to uh, interact the cabinet again. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll find a note. We're going to pick that note up. Once we have uh, done that, we're going to go to our inventory bag and examine the note. So that is our fifth of uh, our fifth of the five clues. Our second. Okay. So once we've done that, we are going to uh, go to our inventory again. We have the broken walking stick, so we're going to drag the fragment of the uh, the fragment of wood to the broken walking stick. Then, once we've done that, we're going to press A on the reassembled walking stick. And we're going to examine the bit in the middle. And then we're going to come out. That will give us our first of the five clues, our third. We are then going to move back to the front yard. We're going to be speaking with Xiao Bao. I hope I pronounced that right. Because he's peeking through the fence. Hello.
Okay, so now we've spoken with Xiaobao, we are going to uh, move to the left to go back to the map, and then we are, uh, obviously from the conversation we just had with Xiaobao, uh, we're going to go to the Justice Department. <coughs> Please excuse my uh, cough today. <coughs> It's getting very cold here uh, at time of recording. Um, I'm recording this on the 30th of December 2021 and it is, as I said, very, very cold here at the moment. Right, so we're going to chat with uh, this officer. No, we're not. We're going to talk with Lieutenant Ma. Sorry, I got the... Uh, Two people mixed up. So we're going to ask about Xiao Bao's medallion. Okay, so we're going to exit out. We are going to then move all the way right to the morgue. We are then going to be speaking to Coroner Yao. Okay. Okay, we're going to go to uh, the front yard again. I'm going to try moving this plant. Aha! We have a secret. Okay, so we need to uh, examine the exposed brick. And we can't do anything with it yet, but now that we've discovered it, we can, oops, we can go back to the morgue. to get an implement to help us move that exposed brick. We wouldn't have been able to do that before because we would have needed to examine the the plant before we could get anything. So I take the medical ch chisel. going to go all the way back to where we uh, found the uh, plant so it's in the courtyard and then once we've got it in sight we're going to use the medical chisel on the exposed brickwork okay no we're not we're going to combine it with the hammer first my apologies Now we're going to use the hammer and chisel on the brick. Okay, we have our fourth of the five clues. Our second, uh, sorry, our uh, the second clue of the of the five. Our fourth. I'll get my words out right eventually. And that will actually pop a 100 gamer score achievement as well. Okay, so continuing on. Once we've done that, we are going to 
go to the uh, map and then we're going to go back to the victim's house we are then going to use the medallion that we just got from the stash and give that back to uh, Xiao Bao through the fence. So we're going to go through all the uh, dialogue and then we're going to back out on that for a second. <coughs> so once we've done all of that, we will have all five clues. And that will give us another 100 game score achievement. A dear warning. We are then going to go back to the uh, Imperial Palace, which will be our only option to move now. And once we've done that, we're going to go all the way over to Empress Yu, I think her name was. No, sorry, my mistake, Empress Wu. And we're going to talk to say that we've got all of our uh, information. So we'll do a case reenactment. So we're going to have uh, spying on them is the correct uh, choice for this segment. Not quite sure if he was there for weeks, how they couldn't see him, but eh. He then uh, broke Zudan's walking stick. And the final thing that you put for this chapter is a warning.
Still maintain, even though it's pixel art, the pixel art in this game is astonishingly beautiful. Okay, that was chapter one. We will continue chapter two in the next video. Thank you for watching.